Okay, here we have a guy lurking in um, somebody's window. He's at some business anyway. He's um, yeah, he's just hanging around looking creepy. He's got a camera and he's peering through a locked door. It's a glass door, but he's looking through it. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. I mean, he's uh, peering through that locked door, and there's the female worker uh, wondering what he needs. Yeah, she works there, and now he's going to ask for her name. No, that's not creepy. Yeah, I wouldn't want to give my name either. No, you don't know. Do you work for the... you work here? Yeah, he... she just answered the question there, Cletus. I do. Oh, okay. But I don't know who you are, so... I'm gonna give my name. Well, you're asking my name, and I don't... You asked for her name first, jerk. I don't know who you are. Right? <laughs> and you're a public employee, so... Hello. Don't How are you? Good. Now, notice she said, if you guys want to come in, come in the front, okay. You know, like something a human being would do. If you want to come in, come in the front. That's what she said. And notice he's got a gun. Yeah, I mean, he's got a camera, he's got a gun, and he's uh, doing what we would call peeping Tom. Yeah, he's peering through a window of a no-access area. Okay. And he says that they've been invited in. No, they weren't invited in. She said, if you want to come in, use the front. Now, that's not the same thing as an invitation. So just want to bring that out. Okay. Also, before we go, speaking of lying, uh, if you've ever heard of Poster 7 in the post offices, this is the part they talk about. Photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, foyers, couriers, or auditoriums when used for public meetings. Notice this. This is the part he doesn't read. Except we're prohibited by official signs or security force personnel or other authorized personnel or a federal court order or rule. Authorized personnel, uh, people who work at the post office. Now, when he says poster 7, he neglects to tell you what poster 7 says. He only gives you a little bit of it. It says, see, I can do whatever I want. I can act crazy as much as I feel like it. Okay, but that's um, basically, um, and here we go in the post office. See where this heads. Hello. Hi, Hi. Mr. Not here. Is that a supervisor? Okay, this ought to be a lesson to everybody. When any joker asks for a supervisor, you got a problem. And you're probably better off not calling a supervisor. But anyway, okay, he asked for a supervisor. This unemployed jerk asked for a supervisor. Wait over by the door there? Just stay right here. Let me go and get him. Okay, sure, thank you. Appreciate your help. Oh, is this your, you're the postmaster? Good. Manager, you're the guy we're looking for. I'm sure you're not shaking hands these days, right? No, but I'll tell you the first thing is that there's no photography allowed in this building. Sure there is. And what I'm more worried about I'm not is discussing it. What a, you're not discussing the serious fire marshal, uh, fire regulation violations that you have going on here? You don't want to hear about any of that? I didn't say that. I said there's no photography in this building. And he is uh, what we would call authorized personnel. Yeah, he he would he works there. He's the uh, supervisor. He's the manager of the building. Yeah, he would be authorized to say that, and for good reason. Okay. Um, anyway. Oh no, he says I can do that. Okay. Well, I'm telling you, there is. You're wrong. Are you, are you familiar with your poster seven? Yeah. We can have the police. Are you familiar with the seven? The police. I'm not. I'm, listen. So listen. I'm here to discuss a very serious life threat. No, you're not. You're there to kick up some dirt. And that's just what you do. Okay. And he's using some excuse. Uh, the problem is he's going to own this cop. And this is a danger to all cops, being owned this way. A cop should never be owned, but I guess this guy uh, 
didn't get the word when he was at the police academy. Uh, did he go to the Jay Leno Police Academy? Yeah, the fire marshal doing his thing. Okay. Um, I thought that's who I was calling. I guess I, guess I got transferred to you by mistake. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. All right, so I'll get, I'll get back. I'll, I'll, I'll get in touch with the right person. Thank you, Dave. They're harassing our staff and federal employees about a supposed egress problem. They, I've asked them to identify themselves. They don't, they don't have the courage to do that, but they've got the courage to violate these other yeah. uh, problems. So um, they, uh, they need to leave. Okay. Kind um, of period, end of sentence. All right, sounds good. Well, are you guys going to take off or are you going to hang out here? Well, are you going to uh, inform him on what the law is? In particular, uh, what? First of all, we are allowed to take video on this property, and I'll tell you why. Wrong. There's something called Poster 7, which is hanging in the lobby, which is the rules and regulations governing conduct on postal property. And notice he doesn't read all of it, okay? No. Um, as a cop, you may want to think about playing some um, copyright music so you don't get recorded, and you may want to read all of Poster 7. Specifically, specifically gives us the right to do what we're doing. Okay, once again, he's lying. Just like, well, I was invited in. No, she said use the front door, which is not the same as an invitation. So this guy is a liar. Okay, there's a section of uh, paragraph. So, I'll, I'll tell you right now, ultimately, no, me, that's, me, that's a federal. No, I, I, no, I, I don't no, care. No, no. I don't care. Well, if you don't care, I'm not going to talk to that's you. That's a federal I, thing. I, so I don't, I don't, I don't have anything to do with that. Okay. That's a federal thing. Well, then tell him to call federal as police. As far as, well, as, far not, as you staying police. here, though, that's trespassing. No, it's not. So I can't have you go back inside. If they're telling you that you no, got to leave, not. then you no. got to leave, man. Call, call FBS. You're wrong. And I don't want to sue you. So okay. you're wrong. I'm no. trying to I'm trying to educate you. Actually, this guy does sue people. He sues them all the time. He tries to sue them. And that's what he's there for. He's there to harass people, kick up some dirt, raise cane. He's unemployed, and this is how he makes money, by asking for donations, asking for subscriptions, yada, 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 yada. And uh, I do understand he did get an out-of-court settlement from a post office in the past. So um, he's out here doing it again. Can I ask why we're doing this today? Can I give because you're just here causing a scene. No, I understand no, what you guys no, no, do. No, 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 listen. It's literally right, just stop to speaking a scene. and listen to what I'm telling you, no, you okay? Know, there is a Department of Homeland Security memo dated 2018 which gives me express right, permission me to do what I'm doing. Bring it up on your phone. Google How it. How about you bring it up on your phone? 2018 me, memo on show photography. Me. Okay. Again, they get in a little argument here. Uh, this is not um, to the cop's credit, by the way. You know? You, you guys are videos, clowns, man. bro. We're going to straighten you out. So get your supervisor down here. Yeah, he's going to straighten out the cop. Unfortunately, this cop is evidently a rookie. Uh, he's very inexperienced. Um... I hate to say this, but if you're going to be a policeman and you're going to be sucking on it like this guy, uh, you're probably in the wrong business. Um, we find out later through this video that this guy is a former Marine. Well, I can see why we have the word former for Marine with this guy. Uh, this guy is a complete pushover, okay? And quite frankly, as a cop, he's useless. I mean, if you're going to suck on it like that, I mean, um, anyway... That's uh, his choice. I guess uh, that's the way it is. But um, if you come into a serious conflict, and the problem is, this guy leaves without giving his name. Um, so, yeah. Now, that's the type of guy you should be careful of. If anything were to happen to this cop, that's the guy I'd be looking at. Okay? And you think these guys harass cops because they don't have another agenda? I mean, I'm not trying to make a thing out of it, but... Um, if you want to test the cops and see how far you can push them, as a cop, if you get pushed too much, um, well, you should be able to fill in the blanks there. I mean, connect the dots. This guy, it's like a burglar. He doesn't burglarize a house the first time he, you know, goes to it. He may do a lot of dry runs or test runs or case it out. This looks like that type of thing. I'm not saying that's what it is, but... I was going to say, if anything were to happen to this guy, I'd be looking at that guy right there. Um, he's not carrying a gun this time, but um, this guy is creepy. Um, and who knows what his motives are, but I would say if I was a cop, I would at least get his name and information. 
But these cops didn't see fit to do that.